This video is gonna show you how to install a winch on a Kawasaki Mule SX. All right, so here's what we got. There's this differential bracket here, it's three holes. And this is what you need to stiffen up that bracket further. With these three bolts, that'll come up from the bottom through this differential bracket and then attach this mounting plate to the mule. So this is what's holding the winch, everything on. And this bracket is a genuine Kawasaki part that works with all the worn uh, winches uh, because they keep the same bolt pattern. And uh, so it's important that you'll know this will fit because it's the one designed for the SX and for any worn winch. So interesting thing is I've got to get this underneath here and there is no easy way to do that. I guess that way. Then I gotta figure out how to get these bolts up and through and on to this. So, yeah, that ain't gonna work. So I'm thinking this, this rotation is intend intended, that they intend for you to remove these four and rotate this up, put those bolts, rotate it back down. I'm making this too hard. So that's how that works. I don't think you get this part on the two wheel drive uh, mules, but on this four wheel drive, you get this bracket, but you need the reinforcement underneath. And then we're gonna mount the plate to the top of it. So I think that's how that goes. Differential pin back in. So I made that a little easier by dropping it down to where these bolts need to line up anyways. So that meant the back had to line up.
Okay, this next part is the biggest pain. You've got four bolts that need to come up through the big plate here and into the base of the winch. Now there's only a narrow space here for you to fit. So you're gonna end up taking your bolt and in the first one under here, take your bolt, put it in a um, socket and put that socket on a knuckle. So that way you can put it up under like this and then you're just gonna have to use it manually like this to, to get it to start and get it started. The front two, you can tighten them with the small, uh, tiny quarter inch uh, sockets just for the, the front two. The back two, you're, you're gonna have to feed them in there. You might be able to use the knuckle to get them started, especially the one on the, on the driver's side. But the one on the passenger side, the bolt from that hinge gets in the way. So you could remove that bolt, it might make it easier uh, to get up through with the socket. But the other way to do it is to take your 13 millimeter wrench, but you gotta have the kind that ratchets like this. And then you go straight in, both of these will work. And you go in like this and you hook it up and then you're just doing like this. And you can only get a couple clicks on each side but you'll tighten them down and that thing will be rigidly tightened down. That's my lesson learned. Now there's probably be a, be a better way to do this. I would please ask you put it in the comments so other people don't struggle like I did here because it was a pain to get those four bolts in. They all have lock washers. I used Loctite on them too. Most of it dripped off in the process, but I tried to do that because I don't want this thing getting loose. So tighten it as best you can. I can already tell that getting four of these up into the winch is not going to be easy, so I'm going to take off part of this plastic here to, to at least bend it up. Well, I'm gonna try to loosen these four and see if I can rock it up at all. So, you gotta use a wrench like this, 
and there you can you can see the bolt hanging down right there there's the bolt you can just barely see it there and so using an open end wrench with this ratcheting with this ratcheting end on it I can slide that in there and a click at a time Uh, and then since I picked this thing up on the hinge, I'm going to try to pull it back down now into place. There you go. Now to install our button here, we're going to need to cut out these knockouts, at least one of them, for your winch. I'm just using a razor blade. Just go in about an eighth of an inch and then just push down. These knockouts are molded right into the dash, so you're going to have to work to cut them out. They're not going to just pop out. But the plastic's pretty soft, and uh, as long as you're just nice and steady, you can... cut all four sides out, it'll come out. There you go. And then your switch will just push straight in. And then lock into place. Then go ahead and plug that control uh, plug into the back of the button. Something you'll notice that's connected to the uh, control cable is this red wire and it's got a seven and a half amp fuse in line. I removed this because this, this power line, it needs to go to switched power. So I'm gonna put it down there to my fuse box, which has got switched power. And then that's gonna allow me um, to manage the fuse down there. I don't, I don't want to have to dig for this under the hood if this thing blows. So I'll have a seven and a half amp fuse down at my fuse box.
Overall, I'm really happy with this uh, Warren Winch. This is the Axon 35-S. Uh, looks great in this mule, fits just right. Really compact and tight with a lot of power packed into that small winch. And uh, yeah, hope this, the, uh, this video was helpful for you to learn how to install it in your Mule SX. And uh, hope this helped. Hey, have a great day.